Octopus or taco is a regular dish in Japan. Many Japanese restaurants serve octopus, and anyone who has tried it can attest to how delicious it is. The Japanese have been eating octopus for millennia, and they have perfected the art of cooking it. Unlike the other kinds of fish, octopus can be enjoyed pretty much any time throughout the year, but if anything, the catch has its peak in summer. How to boil a whole octopus was demonstrated in the earlier tutorial, and this lecture follows pretty much the same steps. But this video specifically focuses on how to make octopus into raw sashimi style in the end. First of all, clean up the octopus. Octopus is covered by slimy substance all over its body. You will need to get rid of this substance before cooking in order to remove the fishiness. This is done by massaging the octopus with salt for 15 to 20 minutes. Rub the salt hard at first and gently as you go on, massaging as you pull the legs. Rinse off all the salt when you're done and run your finger through the octopus to ensure that it is not slimy. Cut and remove the excess skins out of the legs. Remove the suction cups. With a nicely sharpened knife, disconnect the suction cups from the leg, sliding the blade in between. Use your left hand to detach the removed suction cups, so you can find where to slice. The tip of the tentacles are too slender to separate the suction cups, so you can just leave them as they are. Add water to a large pot enough to submerge the octopus, and heat to boiling point. Make it 3% of salt water by adding 30 gram of salt against 1 liter of water. Ensure that the water boils before putting the octopus. Throw in the suction cups and the tentacle tip first to let them be cooked longer. Then, dip the legs into the boiled water for 5 to 10 seconds, depending on the thickness. Quick parboiling the octopus like this helps tightening up the surface as well as killing bacteria remain in the mucus. Once it's done, dump the legs in cold water to cool off.
patting dry and slice into sushi pieces. The point here is to cut as thinner as possible to avoid chewy texture. The size is wide enough just to cover the sushi rice. If the leg is too thick to slice into a good size, you can first divide in half horizontally. The suction cups can be used to garnish the plate, either you can also cook to make another side dish. <laughs> 